All right, so I just watched Alex Garland's Annihilation, which came out, I believe, in March. I didn't get to see it in theaters because my theater did not get it, which was great. And I didn't have enough money at the time to go to Alamo or AMC to watch it. And it was online, but I just wanted to buy it on DVD. And it was for five bucks, a Blu-ray DVD digital combo. So I watched it, and my thoughts are... The only thing I didn't really care for was Natalie Portman's narration throughout the film. It kind of took away a little bit, but I guess most films have to narrate nowadays, which is just annoying. But it starred Natalie Portman and Tessa Thompson and Oscar Isaac. And this is another film starring Oscar Isaac, uh, Alex Garland's Ex Machina. 2015, which was a very fun film, very glorious shots, which also stars um, Alicia Vikander, I think that's her name. She was in uh, Tomb Raider this year. I like Tomb Raider, you know, I don't believe it deserves all that flack, but it was fun. Um, anyway, so this film is about Oscar Isaac. Uh, he gets sick one day after coming back. I forgot what the world was called. I had the volume turned down a little bit because my neighbors were being annoying. I mean, they weren't, like, complaining, but they're new. I didn't want to, like, disturb them, I guess. But anyway, so Oscar Isaac gets sick. Natalie Portman has to go into this other dimension and find out how he got sick and the little journey that she takes. And first thing off the bat, I mean, visually, this film is stunning to look at. I mean, I don't know who you know, was responsible for all the special effects, but they did one hell of a job. I mean, when you can take a tree, make it look like something else. Not even a tree, it was like some kind of godly thing. That shit was amazing. I mean, it was, it was beautiful. And, you know, I know that people are gonna criticize that, you know, it was CGI and not a lot of practical effects. I think um, the bear, I am fairly certain, certain, fairly certain he was practical. It looked like it, I'm not too sure, maybe animatronic, possibly. It was interesting though, I liked it. Um, I am one for sci-fi, <clears throat> believe it or not, I don't really care for uh, the original 1979 uh, Alien. I just don't think it's very, it's entertaining. I just don't think it's very terrifying as people say. I mean, there's some shots that I like in the movie, but uh, with, with this movie, the soundtrack, for one thing, I mean, uh, I believe this title is called Alien, hence what I just talked about, um, but uh, the DVD menu, little trumpets and all that, was great. Um, I never was bored in the movie. I think uh, the only time I paused it was to go to get some food, and come back, and that was it. So it was a very you know, visually interesting movie, and the cast was fine. Um, I'm still learning a lot of female actresses, like their names. I don't know too many. I mean, I know, you know, casuals, Natalie Portman and Keira Knightley and uh, Saoirse Ronan and all that. I'm still learning, though, so I tell myself, I know who that person is, because that happens a few times in this movie. And Tessa Thompson, I guessed right. Um, she was in Creed and Creed 2, which I guess was fine. Um, and Natalie Portman, obviously, she's in Star Wars. Uh, I haven't seen Black Swan. I've heard some, uh, very interesting things about it, if you know what I mean. She was in... I want to say she was in, um, some TV show. I'm not sure. Um, I did get her confused with Keira Knightley when I was younger, just because they do look somewhat similar. But, that's behind me. So, anyway, I'm on a rant. This film, visually stunning. Although, I have a feeling they went a little over, uh, style over substance. I think that's the right word. Because, you know, CGI, it looked really convincing. And, uh, there's a scene where she has her little clone, and... Um, 
you know, there's like these these flower trees that uh, form into people, and I noticed they kill a lot of the wildlife. <laughs> I, I guess I was, I mean, I just said, you know, why are they killing all this stuff? I, I, I don't know, maybe it's like a, it's a metaphor, I don't know, but, um, it's a, it's a good little movie. It was about, I think it was two hours, let me see. Uh, it's not telling me. Okay, so about an hour and 40 minutes, I think. Yeah. It's a, it's a good movie. Uh, let's see, who else was in it? Well, anyway, so, uh, the team gets attacked, like, three times, and there's no other humans. Well, yes, there are. Yeah, a little bit. Um, there's some really nice shots uh, as opposed to the CGI. Well, there is one that composes CGI um, inside someone's body, which was kind of creepy, a little bit. Um, but yeah, I mean, I you know, I, I like science fiction. Um, I'm a big fan of. Well, not big fan. Uh, I like Star Wars. Um, a little bit of Star Trek. I don't know too much. Um, I like Paul. Jenny and the Spinning Worm. I mean, I guess superheroes would fall into science fiction a little bit, like maybe Incredible Hulk. Um, I guess Nine would be considered science fiction. Maybe like a dystopian future. Yeah. Um... Dare I say Jason X. Anyway, I keep rambling, damn it. Uh, this film, if you like science fiction, it's fun. It's like a sci-fi horror film in a way. I mean, there's blood and, and guts and all that. And I think you'd enjoy it if you enjoy Natalie Portman and you like Ex Machina, then I think you'll like this movie. So, that's it.